recording? Oh yeah, we're recording now. Okay. I can't see anything because I've got this hat on my head. You can't say anything. I can't see anything. Can't see anything, my apologies. Slightly different this year. Hello, welcome to World Book Night 2013 via Julius Jens. Um, as in previous years, we've been giving away books to promote reading and these books have been free, absolutely free. And we have sent books to places all over the world. Well, all over Europe so far. No one has actually won outside of Europe. Okay. This year, no different. We will be giving away a copy of Jasper Ford's The Air of Air Affair. It's very funny. It's very literature based. It's also set in an alternate England where you've got government departments such as Literatech that like to handle crimes against literature and people who have changed their names to their f famous or authors such as Keats or somehow or the other they have become so numerous that by law they have to be numbered so you now have John Keats 2813. You right there? Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, but carry on. Yeah, okay. By the way, you like the hat? Bow your head forward slightly. Eyes from Rico, thank you very much for the googly eyes. They were, they were fantastic. Okay. Now, on Tuesday, the 23rd of April, I will be in Roots Urban Farm Shop from 11 o'clock in the morning in Eastbourne handing out 15 copies of this book. The remaining five copies will be given away free via Julius Gems via a draw. All you have to do is contact us, give us your name and then we'll keep that and after two weeks we'll pull the names out of the hat and five lucky people will be receiving a book. Oh, by the way, Reynard's back, got his husband, GB. You right there? Yes. I'm having a bad hair day. Carry on. Yeah, it's supposed to be a rabbit's hat, by the way. You can take it off if it's feeling... <sighs> I look like Rod Stewart with this hat on. <laughs> I am saying you are what not. Okay, five copies going out via Julius Gems. Not only the the book, but all five of these people will be receiving a bookmark. You got a blue one and a green one. Neither of these gems that are written on here have been on Julius Gems before. Because I didn't say them. <coughs> oh shit. Something in my throat there. Okay, so that's a book and a bookmark for five people. However, one lucky person doesn't just get that. One lucky person gets a copy of that, a copy of Scalagrig, which is my all time favourite book. It's a novel. Decipher by Stel Pavlou, another novel, it's a blockbuster. Some classical music to listen to while you're reading. Dvorak Slavonic Dances. When you've stopped reading, then you can listen to Just a Minute, which is being silly for 60 seconds on a specific subject without deviation, hesitation or repetition. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Because I couldn't. I'm too intelligent and too clever and too sensible. I'm never silly. You should have been around last night after she'd had the one glass of wine. Seriously, that was quite epic. Okay. That person will not only want win one of these bookmarks, there'll be both of them, plus a couple of mini marks, as I call them. You can guess why they're called mini marks, I, I'm sure. A key ring. A fridge magnet. Now, if you've been following the blog, 
then you'll see you'll have seen that I've been announcing a certain amount of prizes. This is one of them. It's the uh, one of the dirty postcards that it's not exactly even dirty. It's just a slightly risque joke. Double entendre, if you will. You got another book. Things that people say in bookshops. Very stupid things. If you know the website notalwayswrites.com then you'll know exactly the kind of things. And um, very handy on the cover, you've got a customer asking the question, do you have any books by Jane Eyre? A reminder, if in case you were wondering why that was handy. So that's another book. And another CD. A bit more music this time. So, like I say, that's one person's prize, and four people will win that, and a bookmark. Oh yes, I've got loads of bookmarks here, so you never know, I'll be sending out some others in the future. So, all you have to do, from the 23rd of April, which is a Tuesday, tomorrow, well, it'll be today for the people that watch this. Or yesterday if there wasn't. Well, I suppose, yes. Yeah, You better pray that you get there in time, though, because you've only got two weeks from the 23rd of April. 2013. 2013. You better pray it's 2013, because it's World Book Night 2013. Okay. Hurry yeah. up. Yes, dear. Time, then. Time. 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 You're going to down. <laughs> That's probably one of the less ideal songs you could have gone for at the moment. Oh yes! Oops. Well done! <laughs> okay, have we finished then? No we haven't. Oh, yeah. As I've said a couple of times, two weeks from the 23rd of April, I keep going to say August, which is St George's Day. Not that we actually have anything to do with that. Okay. And at the end of those two weeks, we will do another video. Cool. We'll be pulling the names out of a hat, quite possibly that hat. Depends on how many entries we get. If it gets to be loads of entries, we might have to have the top hat handy. In which case, mm, we might be better off going for a big dish instead because we don't have a top hat. Do we? We don't have a dish on, either. Might be a box. What do you mean we don't have a dish? Well, not a deep dish. We've got a, a shallow dish, but not a deep dish. It might be a box. Hurry up, dear. Did you use a serving dish? Hurry up. I'm getting up the top. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll find something to put it out. Come on. No, not going there. I think that's a probably uh, a very good time to say bye-bye. Good luck, and please enter email via Julie's Gems, you can leave a comment, or you can go to Julie's Gems Facebook page. Okay. Email address is juliesgems at gmx.com. So, drop us a line, and good luck. Bye. Bye-bye. Turn it off now. Hmm? You can turn it off now. Okay.